here's something uh, else interesting that I that I yeah. want to talk about is uh, Dave Rubin. I'm sure you know Dave Rubin. Dude, uh, you're really you're really bringing. You wanted me to talk <laughs> about the D Triple C, Jordan Peterson, and Dave Rubin. Do you have anything that's like likable to talk about? <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> You know, but uh, but Dave Rubin, I you know I want to hear your thoughts on that because obviously he's a Koch brother sellout, but you know of course the yeah. majority report has a, a really interesting altercation with him, I would call it, and I wanted to hear your perspective because basically, you know <laughs> your video criticizing him goes up, and right. Sam Cedar goes, hey Dave, I want to come on your show to have a debate, and then Dave looks at it, sees the video, and says, oh you called me dumb or whatever, uh, so I'm not gonna have you on, and then Sam takes the video down in good faith. But he still won't have him on. So, you know, what are your thoughts on that? I mean, just explain what happened, I guess. Well, this is just going to doubly ensure that no one will ever, that neither Sam nor myself will ever be on Dave's show. But um, <laughs> Dave, Dave is the thing, the only thing, the only thing that's interesting about Dave Rubin, because he's, in my opinion, like even, I like watching his stand up because that's, mm-hmm. you know, unintentionally amazingly funny. Right, but he's a right. boring interviewer. Mm-hmm. He doesn't even have like there's no there there. Right. But the thing is is that he's a pretty genuinely dumb guy if right. you ever watch. Like he's not smart. Yeah, I've seen that. But as well. he's but he's craven. So he's at the perfect meeting point. I feel like Jordan Peterson. Jordan Peterson does all these fucking hand gestures, but he's like <laughs> cynical and <laughs> stupid, right? That's yeah. Dave Rubin. Right. So basically, what happened was, was yeah, I did a video where you know Dave Rubin did, and it's also so funny. He's su- he is he's such a fucking moron. Yeah, he was like he, he was like yeah, like MLK would be conservative. Right. Today. It's yeah. just like first of all, that's it's like. So funny. Stupid. Conservatives have been saying that like since before like a fucking I was born. Like yeah. little like it's the oldest and it takes like the most you know, literally a Google search right. to find out that MLK actually identified himself as a Christian socialist, right? Yep. yep. And supported wealth redistribution, affirmative mm-hmm. action, opposed to imperialism. Like like this takes this is not like Oh, I was, you know, I would never ask yeah. Dave Rubin to read a book, right? <laughs> but I would, I mean, I, I, I am fair here. I'm acting in good faith. I would never ask him to read a book. Mm-hmm. By the way, that's one of my favorite things about Dave Rubin is that when he wants to, like, duck out, like, when somebody's like, hey, like, you say you're a libertarian, but you support single-payer health care. Like, how does that work? Yeah, yeah. And he's like, I'm really interested in, like, in ideas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I've seen that. I've that's seen like the that. dumbest. That's like, that's like. <laughs> It's like this, like going up to some like 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 fucking like morbidly obese yeah. person who's just like, yeah, I don't really have time for that. I'm really into training right now. Yeah. Like like the idea that Dave Rubin is not involved in like the details of policy yeah. because he's reading John Stuart Mill. I mean, get the <laughs> fuck out of here. Come yeah, on. No. I've like, seen I mean, dude, out. like at least yeah, just at least say, hey, I'm sorry. I'm just making stupid money doing no research, promoting petty grievances, and I'd yeah. prefer to like I don't know watch a, I don't know, a re- a fucking Entourage or some shit. I, whatever the fuck you watch. Like, pl- ideas? Come on, let's be serious. So, uh, did you I'll see... finish the story in a second, but uh, yeah. Oh, okay, no, go ahead. Go ahead and continue with it. That's a preamble. So I put out this video yeah. where we made fun of him for the MLK thing and, right. you know, whatever. Just, like, not e- it wasn't, it's not even, it's like taking candy from nothing. Like, right. not even a baby, right? <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, and so the video goes up and uh, and Dave is because Dave. I feel like he does this a little bit less now, but he still had some investment in sort of like pretending that he was like, oh, you know, I'm really serious about ideas and come one, come all, or whatever. Mm-hmm. And um, and so people would periodically tweet, you know, like, oh, we'll have uh, Sam Cedar and Michael Brooks on. Yeah, and especially at that point, like. I mean, even now, like, obviously, Sam's, you know, very big. Yeah. And this is before I even started my show. Mm-hmm. So that really turned into, you know, a thing, especially with Sam. It's like, you know who Sam is, right? right. Like, yeah. like, like, you know, the guy, right? Like, majority is a big show. He's on mm-hmm. MSNBC. Yeah. And here it is. Great. You want to, and, and, you know, and and so this is where it's like, yeah, Dave Rubin's a dumb guy, but he's yes. not dumb enough to think that he could actually debate policy with Sam Cedar. He can't. Or even, or even, frankly, like the shit he's obsessed with. Like, 
Sam would, you know, they could have debate rules where it's like, all right, Dave, pick your irrelevant college story of choice, <laughs> and Sam can't read anything about it, and he would still smoke Dave Rubin in a debate, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So Dave then had to be like, well, I don't know who you. I think he, I think he literally pretended to not exactly know who Sam was. Really? And he, I, I could be misremembering. I don't remember That's all the details. Shocking. Because he was on I TYT, I, so I mean, he had to have known something about Sam. I have no, I, I don't quote me on that. I okay. don't remember. But he went, he went to, and then he immediately found the video that went up, and the title was, you know, Dave Rubin's an idiot or something, mm -hmm. and uh, and then he was just like, "Wow, well, you call me dumb." <laughs> so that was his cop out. Then, that was his cop out, and then yeah. Sam violated my free speech. Yeah. And shut down my <laughs> change of ideas. Yeah, no marketplace so of ideas anymore. I was literally censored in the marketplace of ideas. That's true. Because of Dave Rubin, yeah. which is like, if you think about it, a threat to Western civilization. Yeah. Um, because he was acting, I mean, you know, for all of his like willingness to have on racists and crackpots and alt right figures, apparently. He, he should still bring you on the show company. because your free speech was censored. Uh, it was censored. It was That's amazing. I mean, he was that, he was a total SJW beta sure. cuck, yep. violating. And then Sam gave him a safe space. Yeah, Sam violated my free speech to give him a safe space. That's true. Still no debate, because again, I mean, he's he's dumb, but he's not quite that dumb. Have you seen? Did you see David Pakman's uh, interview with Dave Rubin by any chance? Did you see any Who? of it? Uh, did you see David Who? Pakman's debate or, or interview with Dave Rubin? I think I saw a small. I I think I saw. Didn't Dave do that whole like? Didn't Didn't Pacman ask him some like really basic like tax policy question yes, or something? And it's yeah. like I think about. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> he didn't even say that. He just said um because he had no clue. That was that was probably that was yeah. when I realized yeah, that I Dave Rubin was an that. idiot. That was when I realized oh, yeah. that Dave Rubin doesn't know anything. Was then. Uh, but yeah, that that was hilarious. Yeah, no, he was totally, he was totally doing. He didn't know it. Kid, kid who did like dumb kid who didn't do the yeah, reading. Yeah. Like, oh, taxes, you ask. Yeah, well, yeah. I am told by the freedom philosophers, and then yeah. and then you go and you watch this guy doing stand up. His stand up is literally like demography. Like yeah. there are gay people here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that was the whole. Was, that was the whole thing. Which is that was literally the whole thing, and he had a new one. Apparently, he's back to doing stand up, and now yeah. it's just: are there conservatives here? Yeah. yeah. Are there libertarians here? I mean, I don't look. Let me tell you something: if you are a middling fucking talent and a comedian that isn't funny, a talk show host that doesn't know anything, yeah, uh, you have zero integrity. I gotta recommend right wing YouTube because yeah. there is yeah. clearly unlimited opportunity there. Absolutely.